Flowers are beautiful things, are they not? But no matter how pretty they may be, they all eventually wither and die. You can lose your mind trying to keep it alive as long as you want, but in the end of the day, everything expires. It's simply the reality of life. The same can be said for the lives of your loved ones. No matter how hard you try, eventually there will come a day where you have to let go. Failure to do so could leave you at a loss for your own marbles. And that brings us to the story of today's video. The strange omission flowers for a lady in Red Dead Redemption. To begin this side story, we just need to head a short distance away from McFarlane's Ranch in the Hedigenstead region, not too far away from Thieves Landing. Once we arrive in this area, we should come across a seemingly rather sweet old man picking flowers for his wife. What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She always loved these these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and it's hard for her to get up and about. So I want to want to bring her a lovely bouquet for her anniversary. I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. I'd love it. So bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? So now we need to head off into the wild and find some flowers for this old man who is named Billy, apparently. We need to find three wild fever few, three red sage and three desert sage. You can find the fever few in and around Hennigan's stead. The red sage can be found in the Rio Bravo area and the desert sage is mainly found up around the Gap Tooth Ridge area. Red sage is orange in colour, desert sage is purple, and wild fever few is a light shade of pink. It shouldn't be difficult to find the flowers from here on out, but once you have acquired three of each, we can head to Billy's cabin, which is located west of Thieves Landing and east of McFarlane's ranch. And this is where things get mighty weird. Here's your flowers, Billy. Well, thank you. Not yeah, many around these parts that help an old man with such a task. Thanks again, stranger. Come on in, have some tea with me and Annabelle. I'm sure she'd love the company. All right, maybe just for a minute. This is my other half, lovely Annabelle. <clears throat> Much obliged. This a man helped me find these lovely flowers, Annabelle. Not half as lovely as you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you don't look a day over 30, ma'am. Wait, it's a fine air and the good living up here in New Austin that keeps us so young and full of vigor. Annabelle was mentioning she wants to go up to Blackwater, ride one of those newfangled motor cars. Huh? No bumpy old horse carriage for my angel. <laughs> That's a good idea, Billy. I should get going. Well, you haven't had your tea. And, and, and Annabelle baked her special blackbird pie. Yeah, I'm sorry, Billy. I must have forgot. I've got an appointment with Planet Earth. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Farewell, John. Stop by any time. Oh, we play bridge on Thursdays. Billy's wife is a decaying corpse, but Billy doesn't seem to be aware of that. He talks as if she's still alive, like she still does things. He says she wants to go into Blackwater and ride one of those fancy motor cars, and that she makes her special Blackbird pie. Considering the state of her, I can only imagine what that actually means. John makes his excuses and leaves the cabin, thus ending the side mission Flowers for a Lady. Billy is clearly somewhat mental, but how mad is he actually? How aware is he of his situation? Well, if you re-enter the cabin and bump into Annabelle, her head will fall off. And if Billy witnesses this, he will say, ah crap and put on a shocked expression. However, he doesn't seem too shocked by the fact that you've accidentally decapitated his wife. This is likely because deep down, Billy knows that his wife is dead. And considering the decomposed state of the body, it's very likely that she has been dead for years. Billy, please tell me you haven't been doing the dirty lad. Now, if we visit this cabin in Red Dead Redemption 2, you will find the rocking chair on the decking outside of the cabin overlooking the creek. This to me implies that the cabin was occupied by Billy and his 
wife by at least 1907, even though neither Billy nor Annabelle are anywhere to be seen. Interestingly, if you return after a couple of days, I found Billy to be gone, the body was gone, and the rocking chair was back on the porch. Though other players have reported that you will be able to find Billy here talking about all sorts, but Annabelle will be gone. I know, maybe I shouldn't have chased him off into the woods, but has to be done sometimes. The corpse loosely resembles something from the 1960 movie Psycho, in which a character's long deceased mother is kept in a rocking chair, but that's about where the correlation ends. There are also similarities in this entire side mission with the William Faulkner short story A Rose for Emily, which was published in 1930, in which a character wants to avoid change so desperately that they live with their deceased loved one as if they were still alive, which is exactly what's going on here. Even the titles of this side mission and that that short story are very similar, so if this side mission is a reference to anything, I'd put money on it being a reference to this short story. Anyway, that brings us to the end of what I suppose is something of a sad story from the world of Red Dead Redemption. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be super fantastic. If you feel like it, be sure to swing on by the Twitch, there will be a link in the description. And of course, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point, but until next time, take care and goodbye.